In Scotland, we currently have in the register of the Scottish Joint Industry Board approximately 19,500 people who are registered in the electrical sector, and that means uh, electrical operatives as well as apprentices. At the moment, we're averaging around 900 new apprentices each year. Apprentices are done on a basis of employer-led uh, recruitment, which means that if there is sufficient work, firms will recruit more apprentices. So at the moment, we're probably averaging around the same as we had 10 years ago. There's not a shortage of electrical apprentices. For every apprenticeship, it's probably fair to say that we have maybe four or five applicants. The fact is that we have a bit of a skill shortage in qualified electricians. The age profile of the electricians who work in Scotland is around 34, that's the average age of an electrician in Scotland. But we do acknowledge as well that there are people coming to the end of their career. In the past, when I was born, you had 100,000 people potentially to recruit. You're now looking at a pool of 50,000. And if we look at the elephant in the room, which is a gender problem we have in the sector, where we're only recruiting 2 or 3% of women in the sector, that means predominantly businesses are now fishing in a pond of 25,000 compared to 50, 60,000, you know, even just a few years ago. I think it's difficult for employers to look too far ahead, and that's done on the basis that the industry in Scotland mirrors the Scottish economy generally in the sense that we have a number of very small businesses, micro businesses, and then you have some medium sized firms and then a handful of very large firms. For the very largest firms, it's much more easy to plan ahead because they have a, a path of work. So they can plan for their recruitment, they can plan for upskilling their staff. When you start going down the chain and you work in small towns and rural areas, your work is very much dependent on what your domestic customers want. And I think if we don't get the skilled workforce that we need as a country, and I'm talking about Scotland and obviously broad, more broadly the UK, as fossil fuels run out, as changes are made to government policy, which means that it's, you can't install gas products anymore, or you must have this, or you must change to an electric vehicle car, how are we going to actually maintain that? How are we going to make sure there's enough people around to install these products? And I think that's why it's important that support is given to businesses who want to branch out into other parts of work. So we have to focus on training these young people and adult trainees on the fundamentals of electrical installation work, doing it competently, safely. And then, if necessary, we can upskill them on the new technologies that are required. And I think what we've always said in Select is that the future is electric because everything increasingly is becoming dependent on electricity, whether it be our transport, our heat, our power, our light. So from a career progression perspective, joining the electrical sector now and looking at what's going to happen in the next 5, 10, 15 years or so, the sky's the limit really for people joining the sector.